few humans were ever able to wrestle melody out of an upright pace or command a cacophonous jazz band like Charles Mingus, though all that is basically irrelevant on this album of solo piano works. The idea seems a bit incongruous, like if Eddie Van Halen decided to release an Obianly record in his prime, but Mingus was no dilettante on the keys. At a young age, he was mentored on the instrument by the quick-finger jazz titan Art Tatum, and this album of originals, reinterpretations, and spontaneous performances adds another dimension to his staggering talent. Unlike Mingus's full band albums and shows, which could be rambunctious affairs that teetered on the precipice of chaos, Mingus plays piano as gorgeously spare, incorporating elements of jazz, blues, and his beloved classical music. Opener Myself When I Am Real was largely made up on the spot, a shape-shifting ballad that doubles as a spiritual portrait of Mingus's own creativity. Elsewhere, there are skewed standards, quiet confessionals, and in a tanto of minute ode to Mingus's America, a complex and troubling place, where black men like him were often left out. The record's haunted soul still speaks to artists like Blood Orange's Dev Hines, who sampled myself when I am real to introduce his own profound and personal treatise on being black in America, Freetown Sound. Truth, beauty, liberty, it's all here. Unadorned. Ryan Dommel listened Charles Mingus I can't get started.